the reason I'm doing it. Hi. Um, Millie's show's going to be on, and she's going to be chasing a dog, and she lives in New Jersey, and she's our cousin. Bye. We had no idea, you know, whether the animal would in fact survive this because it's very dangerous with all of this traffic. This animal nearly was killed. We were over that bridge this summer. Someone needs to be able to adopt this animal. Here it comes! Good morning, everyone. I'm Pasha Rocket. And I'm Amy Cable. We first learned about happening. my bee. In the middle of a newscast, we got word over our earpiece that we had a major traffic tie up on the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. The Ben Franklin Bridge is the summer. main artery between New Jersey and Philadelphia. A backup on this bridge is tough enough on traffic, but for a dog, it could be deadly. He has got a face that can stop traffic, or at least slow it down. You first saw Mikey the stray dog last October as he weaved his way through traffic on the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. He uh, came on onto the bridge by walking down the street right here and onto the bridge, and uh, he kind of held up traffic for about an hour and a half, tried to catch him, but it was impossible. And we never caught him. He just walked off the bridge by himself. Yeah. Yeah. News cameras tracked Mikey as he wandered the streets. I saw him on TV, weaving in and out of traffic. They had like great footage of him crossing the bridge. Of course, I was holding my breath the whole time, and uh, I thought, God, i got to get this dog. <laughs> so I thought, I'll probably be able to find him. It's not a big city, and uh, now I'm looking for him. <laughs> I found a little chihuahua, a little tiny thing, and he was That's shivering. I, I just couldn't believe my eyes that, that a dog that small managed to last on the streets here. And I just picked him up and put him in my coat, and he was the most loving, sweetest little dog in the world. He has such a fabulous home right now. I, I um, found this wonderful family that sends me pictures every other week Cute. of how he's doing, and uh, I couldn't be happier. So it makes me feel good to be able to help them like that. I guess it is a big city when you're looking for one dog. Well, this is North Camden, and this this is definitely where he is. I know I know that from from asking people, um, and hopefully we can find somebody outside on this lovely day to uh, to ask and see if they've lovely seen him day. lately. <laughs> but uh, he definitely lives in this area. And it's not it's not a real big area, but but he could be anywhere. Several hours later, Mary Lee makes another find. Oh, oh my god, this collar is like embedded in his neck. Come here, I got you. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come on, get in the car. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come here, baby. Come here. Hi. Come here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Dude. Dude, hold on. I don't think either one of these is Mikey. My car is going to be full by the time I leave this city. Come on, puppy. Your relief is the only way I can express how I feel when I find a dog, like pick him up off the street like these two, and then he's in a good home where they absolutely adore him, and he's sleeping on the bed and being yeah, spoiled. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's like, ugh, I can't even express to you how how happy that makes me. It's like, really makes me feel like complete. <laughs> and it's kind of dramatic, but it's true. All right. <laughs> they could have been abused or just plain neglected, and uh, they're frightened, they're shivering cold, they have no way to protect themselves, 
they have nowhere to go to get out of the cold. Um, and a lot of them end up starving to death. Excuse me. Oh, oh, don't get out the window, Doug. Hi, do you know this dog? I don't, I'm, I cannot, let me see. Come here, puppy, look. Yeah, look, he's look, probably going around here with his stripes, look. You think he's a stray? Do you know this dog? I've seen that one, but I don't know. You don't know if he's somebody's dog or not? Uh, yeah, you better take it. Why can't you take it and put it in there? Uh, I'm going to take him and find him a good home if he's nobody. I just want to make sure he didn't get loose from somebody. No, no, I, I haven't seen him, you know. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll take him. Now I've got to bring them to the shelter. Hey, John, it's Mary Lee. Guess what? <laughs> yes, I have more dogs. I was looking for Mikey, and uh, I found two people. others. I hope you're not too full. I'll be there soon. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm going to have to come back and, and get Mikey another day, because uh, I'm kind of full right now. <laughs> but, uh, but that's OK. I'll, I'm going to come back, and I will find him. Join us for another heapin' helpin' of a pet story after these messages. I'm Steve Crikey. You're not even That guy sounds like you when you do that. That's me. I know he's probably still out there. You know, the streets are camping. There's no place, no place to be living for an animal, that's for sure. So we're going to see if this is Mikey. I don't know. When I went to find Mikey again, um, he was just sitting there on the street um, out in front of a house. And I thought, wow, this is going to be easy, a lot easier than some of these crazy chases I've been on. Benjamin Delgado had seen Mikey before. See, I'm a truck driver. Every time I'm leaving, he go with me to my truck. And he get long down to the stop sign down there, and then he come back here. Oh, really? Every time my brother go to work, he go with that. That's the day he went on, on the bridge. That's not exactly what happened. He was following my brother to the bus stop, you know, the, the terminal. Right. And then when he went back, he get lost. That's why he, he took the bridge up. Oh, gosh. Is that why? Right? Yeah. yeah. Good boy. Come on, Mikey. Come on. Here, Mikey. Sometimes heart wrenching for me to take them out of some place where they, you know, <laughs> lived their whole life. Like he knows these people around here, and it's a good thing we're taking them because these streets are very dangerous. It's it's a it's a hard thing for them to live outdoors all the time. I mean, people think that they can, you know, because they're animals that they can adapt, but they suffer the cold just like we do. They may have a little more insulation, but I mean, animals can freeze to death. Mary Lee takes Mikey to the Animal Orphanage, a no-kill shelter in Voorhees, New Jersey, about a half hour away from Camden. Mary Lee has the biggest heart in the world. She's definitely an animal lover who does all she can to, you know, to help out less fortunate animals like Mikey and some of the others she's brought in. Hey! Look what I got! Yeah, where's this lovely creature from? Camden. This is uh, Mikey, you know that Mikey? dog that keeps crossing the Ben Franklin Bridge? Oh uh, yeah, I saw him on the news. This is him! You know where to go? Yeah. yeah. I'm just right. bringing this one. You want to empty ones like that in? Yeah, down yeah. this way on the right. Oh, baby, let's go. He's going to get scared when he sees all these dogs. Yeah, right, he'll be all right. <laughs> it's amazing he lasted as long as he did. Rarely do you see an old stray dog. Just the fact that he's in such good shape is pretty remarkable. I promise I'll find a good home. A good home. So sweet. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, baby. You're good. I'll be back to see you, okay? I'll be back to see you. She better not ever have children. She better not ever have children because she spends time with her dog. Right, come on, Mikey. Come on. He adapted really well, very quickly. All in all, you couldn't ask for a nicer dog. You yeah, really couldn't. Come on. I thought she was going to chase it on the highway. Meanwhile.
Meanwhile, a few miles away in Moorestown, New Jersey, Debbie Cohen was also inspired by Mikey's story. I just flipped to Channel 3 News, and they said, you know, here's a dog, Mike, who's been going back and forth in the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. <laughs> Dogs have always been a big part of the Cohen household. I couldn't imagine our family life without having a dog in it. Shadow, we think, is almost 18 years old. My oldest daughter, Michal, was in fourth grade, and she came home from school one day and said, the cutest dog is hanging out at our school. And she said, well, everybody wanted to take him home, but I didn't eat my lunch today. I saved it, and I walked home from school, and I kept feeding him my lunch. So he came right along with me, and he's in the backyard. And of course, about 15 minutes later, he was already in the house. We decided to keep him. That was um, about 17 and a half years ago. Today, Shadow is feeling his age. He has uh, very bad arthritis, his back legs, and he has a lot of trouble walking. Debbie thinks a dog like Mikey could lift Shadow's spirits because Shadow was so close to her other dog, who just died. His name was also Mikey. He was also a stray dog. A woman in a neighboring town has a little society, and people find me? strays, they call her, and we went over and saw him, and I said to her, of course, now this is the first dog we're looking at. You know, we're not gonna make up our mind right away. So we went in, they brought the dog out, and two minutes later, we looked at each other and said, we'll take him, of course. So that's how we got Mike. Debbie was still mourning the Mikey she lost when once again, the story of Mikey the street dog appeared on the news. The famous Camden Stray who made his television debut right here on Eyewitness News, stopping traffic on the Ben Franklin Bridge. And tonight, could there be a home for Mikey? Well, Eyewitness News reporter Robin Reed was called my son, said I'm going to look at a dog, jumped in the car, and all the way there I was talking to myself and saying, crazy what you, you know one dog is enough one dog is enough but I don't know I just felt and especially when I heard that his name they had named him Mikey and we had just lost a Mike and it seemed to be like this dog is for you hold on tight a pet story will be right back on Animal Black